Welcome to the Data Video CG200 training. My name is Tim, and we are going to be working today on a bonus lesson on how to animate a stinger or a motion graphic. So we're going to show you how to do that. So let's go and start by go to New, and I'm going to turn the preview window off. Right click on here, and as you can see, you can add a simple object, add a picture, or an animation. And we want to add an animation. And what the CG200 is looking for is it's looking for an image sequence or a text document. What we want to do is create a text document. You could do a GIF, but I would recommend uh, not doing a GIF as the color is only 255 colors and it does not look very good. Uh, but the better way of doing it is doing an image sequence. And so we're going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is go look in your image sequence folder. Right here is my folder here with all my images in it. It's uh, 1 through 100, and then you want to open up a text document editor. And you begin in there, in your first line, typing in the file number. Ah, links, station, logo, 001.jpg. Links, station, logo, 002.jpg. And as you can see, this is going to take a really long time to do. I have typed in 100 lines everyone down not to mention if I make a mistake it's gonna mess the whole entire sequence up and I don't want to do that so there is a faster way of doing this and I'm gonna show you how to do that close this out minimize this we go back into this one here we want to, what we want to do is open up our command prompt open up your command prompt maximize this so you can see it and I want to get into my root folder my just my seed folder so to do that I am going to go to cd dot dot. It will go back one level. cd dot dot, go back another level. Now I'm on my root. So I can list everything in that directory by typing in dir. And that shows everything in my directory. And what I want to do is I want to get the file uh, right here in this folder. So you go cd cg 200. Now I'm in that one. And I'll type in dir. And you'll see three different files there. So CD FMF. So now I'm in that directory. Now, if I type in DIR, you'll see all the images that I showed you earlier, except you'll see it in the command prompt window. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to create a text document. By going into here, you simply type in dir slash b greater than file name dot txt and push enter and there it is it, it is has created a text document so I want to show you go back into your Windows Explorer window you will see file name dot txt open up this one double click and you'll see them all in here it automatically does it for you what you want to do is highlight the first line and erase it and then save it. Okay? And then close out of that window. And now when I come into here, right click, add picture animation, and I want to find that text document. File name txt open. Now we'll just wait for that to create the image sequence for you. And there we go. There we have it. So now, if I open up my preview on, and I hit play, it plays it, and it plays it, and it plays it over and over again. So let's just end that. And down here in your presentation window, it says show indefinitely, yes. We want to click that to no. And now when I push play, it will play it and stop. So if I have this going and the keys open on my switching board, it will play through it, go into it, and come out of it seamlessly. It'll look, it looks fantastic. And that's how you do it. And thank you so much for watching the bonus lesson on the CG200 on animating a image sequence.